approximately 6 this evening, San Antonio Fire Department responded to 9600 Quintana Road for report of a dead person. Engine 52 arrived and uh, found the trailer, as Chief McManus mentioned, uh, with a body outside and, and several that they could visibly see inside once the doors were opened. Um, at this time, we have processed approximately 46 bodies that have been triaged and tagged and uh, declared deceased at this time. Fortunately, we were able to transport 16 people. 12 of those are adults and four pediatric. All of them were conscious at the time upon transportation. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. They were suffering uh, from heat stroke, heat exhaustion, uh, no signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. Uh, we are currently putting those 60 members through critical incident stress debriefing. Again, uh, we're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Um, none of us come to work imagining that. So we're working through the uh, behavioral health for our folks right now. So the first call came in at about uh, 10 minutes to 6 this afternoon. Uh, fire a, a worker uh, who is works in one of the buildings up here behind me uh, heard a cry for help, came out to investigate, found a, a trailer with the doors partially open, uh, opened them up to take a look, and found a number of um, deceased individuals inside. So we have three people in custody. We don't know if they are absolutely connected to this or not. Um, this investigation has been turned over to HSI. It is now a federal investigation. So the plight of migrants seeking refuge is always a humanitarian crisis, but tonight we are dealing with a horrific human tragedy. So I would urge you all to think compassionately and pray for the deceased, the ailing, the families, and we hope that those responsible for putting these people in such humane conditions are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law.